What's up guys, Tim Halstead here for episode 20 of Building Up the 408 Cleveland. So a lot of things have happened over the last couple of days. I'm here at the shop of Don Rohde, Precision Engines in Port Clinton, Ohio. I just finished uh, torquing the rod bolts. You know, they had the method where you could use a stretch method and angle gauge. And I just said, I'm not doing that. I'm putting it together the way I've always done it, torquing it. Don's done it a million times with torque and I'm just that's how I'm putting it together so hopefully there's no issues I don't think there will be but it turns really nice hardly any drag on that so let me tell you where we're at I got these pipe plugs from Tim Meyer Tim thanks for sending these to me for free I appreciate that we're gonna take the steel ones out if there's no issues with them and replace them with these. These are steel. They'll probably gain, lose a couple pounds there. Well, I don't know about a couple pounds, but it probably will lose at least a pound, I can tell you that. And I like these, they look pretty cool. I'll show you something else. You got the intake from Morgan. This thing is sweet. And light. I don't know if you can see in there, but we'll kind of get it in there. But you can see that AR plate on the top. So I'm pretty excited about that. I got the cylinder head too. I'll show you a quick view of that. But this intake's beautiful. I bet you that's 25 horse right there. He was talking about the plate. If you saw my other videos with the spacer plates with him, We'll see what's going on. So thanks, Darren Morgan. And you can see there, thanks, Rear Morrison. Here's a cylinder head I got back from. Take a peek. Probably can't see that, but these are flowing, I think he said, what, 395, which is pretty darn good. So I think with these and the intake and the little mods I made, with getting the engine put together the right way without banging into things, the um, windage tray for my buddy Blake, I think we're gonna pick up some horsepower there. Morgan was saying that with the heads and intake, I could pick up close to, close to 10%. 10% of what I was making before would be 75 horse. Um, that's like 827 horse. I, I don't think it's gonna make that much. Who knows? If it is, I don't know if it will stay together. That's the question. But either way, we'll know by the quarter mile times what it's gonna do. So I'm gonna, next thing I'm gonna do is fit the windage tray, make sure we don't have anything hitting anything. And then I can start getting the cam in, degree in that, checking the piston to valve clearance, and we'll keep you posted. Thanks for tuning in. So I'll try to show you that with the rods in regards to the offset, but it's, there isn't any offset, they're centered. Perfect. Come down. Seems to be a big talk about the rods being offset versus not offset. All right, so I'm getting ready to button this up. I'm gonna put this windage tray on. I checked all the clearance on it and it looks pretty good. So I think I'll be all right with that.
little Allen head bolts hold it on. I'm putting a little blue Loctite on it. We're not dropping stuff in the motor, I guess, but you know, you just be careful, that's all. I don't use a lot of that, I don't think you need a lot. I'll tell you, the clearances are pretty close with the rods and the tray, but that's the purpose of it. I mocked it up before so I could make sure that when it when I tighten it up I know right where to put it because it does have a little wiggle room. I will have to tell you a story that's kind of funny Don was telling me on Wednesday here. I didn't get a chance to get here early, but I got here in the afternoon, maybe two o'clock-ish or something like that. And uh, Don was telling me a story about, he was doing a valve job on a big block Chevy when the door slammed open and a convict in an orange jumpsuit who jumped out of a sheriff's car on this corner over here, came through the door, jumped over his counter, landed, broke his ankle, then tried to run and hide underneath his car trailer. And old Jake here, he's not here right now, who's like 12 or 15 years old, went after him and kind of cornered him under the trailer until the sheriff's got here. So there's no tor torque spec on this, you know? Just use your head and tighten it up good. Use the block, the lock tight. Snug it up, equal, you're good to go. Try to draw it down even, like with any part you're tightening up. Yeah, I'm getting pumped. You know, it's, it's getting close to putting this thing together in regards to the heads and the cam. I doubt I'll get it done today. I just got too much other stuff I had to do. But I can tell you within the next two weeks, this is going to be going, if not quicker. Same with the pistons that were hitting the crank before. I went through each one and checked it, and there's easily 30 thousandths clearance now. I got the pump from Precision Oil Pumps in California from Doug. Appreciate it, Doug. We're going to put that on. I'm just going to kind of check it out. He also sent me the stud kit for free, and I appreciate that. There's Billy Idol. Oh yeah, that'll be perfect. Nice. Thanks, Doug. 
Also, I have the drive shaft. I mentioned this in another article or video, I should say. We're putting that into the windage tray on, and you can I'm trying to get you so you can see the clearance. Sorry about the movement. Clear's perfect. So I got the windows tray all on and, and, and tightened down with the Loctite on the bolts. All the clearances are golden, especially the pistons that were hitting the crank before. There's plenty of clearance now. So um, I mocked up the oil pump already to get my clearance to the oil pan. And we know Cleveland's are a pain because they screw that pickup on and you got to get it on just right because you don't want to loosen it up then it can vibrate or loosen up. So that's the issue you have. It's like 3 eighths I think is the, the clearance on it. Put the gas, I got a stud kit from Precision Oil Pumps. I put that on and put the gasket on. Make sure the gasket doesn't cover up that hole that's pushing the oil through to the filter. Make sure you either trim it, you want it to fit perfect on there. Here's the other key. You don't want to forget your oil pump drive shaft either. This is from Precision's Precision Oil Pumps also. Thanks, Doug. So I like to put a little bit of oil on there. And we know it's got the collar on it, right? So if you pull the distributor, you're not pulling out the oil pump drive shaft. So make sure you put the collar down. Here's my pump. You know, that's a nine quart pan that I use. So the pumps, the pickup's pretty big. But here's his oil pump, safety wired. I'm not gonna mess with it. He told me it was golden. So that's where I'm at. Grab the bolts here. They have uh, 12 point lock or uh, 12 point nuts. And that's just that seating the, there's a Titterman collar on that to prevent it from being pulled out. So I felt it seat down. Now the torque on the Ford factory bolts is like 25 foot pounds. You know, the problem with these oil pump and plus with the studs is you can't get a torque wrench on it. So I'm tightening it down with a 12 point wrench. We know 25 foot pounds ain't that tight. And this pickup is real close to the windage tray. I actually had to trim the windage tray a little here so it wouldn't be hitting this. One thing I, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, Steve K, if anybody knows Steve Kinzel, he's in town for the power tour, which is up at Norwalk. So I'm gonna meet him tonight and some buddies of his, it's kinda cool. Can't wait for that little event. over and looking at that crank everything moving definitely precision no doubt about that let me try to see how I can get these core plugs out it's just that's a big Allen wrench as far as the size goes it looks like three-quarter inch I don't, I don't think we have one that big but we'll see what we can do so I've got the oil pump all tight that's looking damn good everything has got good clearance Here's my oil pan. I'm just gonna kind of leave it on here and mock it up. And make sure that it doesn't hit. Nice. It's getting there. So I'm gonna wrap it up now. 
just want to tell you guys thanks for tuning in. I appreciate everybody helping me out. Um, Morgan, I got to throw you out a special shout out. That intake is, is awesome. I appreciate that. And the head's unbelievable. I think we're going to pick up some power, no doubt about that. I think I can get that 950. So stay tuned. What's up, guys? Tim Halstead here. We got Steve Kinzel here, who's on the power tour with his Mustang. He stopped in to say hi, check out the uh, heads I got back from Morgan to talk about Cleveland's. His buddy's here, Barry. <clears throat> He's running a three second Camaro in the eighth. It's like three hey, what? Daddy. 370? Daddy. 393. 393. There he is, man. <laughs> <laughs> he don't play. Hey, you know, we're talking daddy. 973 cubic inches of motor. 978 naturally aspirated. There it is, 978 naturally aspirated. So what's the mile an hour on that, Barry? 186. So that's pretty fast, guys. I look at that and I look at what I'm running, <laughs> and it just makes me go, whoa. It puts everything into perspective, but that's what it's about. You know, you do what you can do, you, you enjoy what you do, and you put your heart into it and you roll with it. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks, Steve, for stopping by. His wife's thanks, here, sir. too. And thanks, girls, for being in the video. Thanks. Subscribe and share.